I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Emma and Carter here for your announcements for September 1st, 2016. Attention juniors and seniors. We will be having our annual financial aid night on Thursday, September 8th at 6 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Plan to attend to hear about the earlier application financial aid. A representative from the PHEAA. On Thursday, September 27th, Moon Area High School will be hosting a college fair from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Robert Morris Soul Center. There will be colleges, universities, trade schools, and the military will be in attendance. All students and parents are welcome. Attention seniors, the Infinite Scholar Program will be hosted on September 10th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Barack Obama Academy. You must bring five or more copies of unofficial transcripts, your SAT or ACT scores, three letters of recommendation, a resume, and an essay about why I want to attend college. Attention all seniors, those of you that requested a senior project approval over the summer by email must have the paperwork signed this week. Please see Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Kostlik ASAP. Duquesne University will be having an open house Sunday, September 18th from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. The high school library will be closed today, Thursday, September 1st. It will reopen tomorrow during school hours. Also, FCA will be tonight at 7.30 in the high school cafeteria. That's all for your announcements today, CV. Have a great day. Hello, CV. It's Amanda and Blake here with your sports. Yesterday, boys golf won against Freedom 224 to 300. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Thursday, September 1st, the girls and boys golf team both play at three against the Ambridge Bridgers and the New Brighton Lions, respectively. It's going to be a packed golf course today, CV. Also, girls tennis travel to Seneca Valley to take on the Raiders at 3.30. In the boys football team home opener, they face off against Elwood City. The game will start at 7 and the theme will be Valley Beach. That's all for your Sports Today CV. Now here are Alex and Gianna with Random Laws. Hey CV, it's Gianna and Alex here with some Random Laws for the week. In Michigan, a woman's hair belongs to her husband's. Flirting in Little Rock, Arkansas can land someone in jail for 30 days. In Chalice, Idaho, it is illegal to walk down the street with another man's wife. In Kalispell, Montana, children must have a doctor's note if they want to buy a lollipop. In Quitman, Georgia, a chicken cannot cross the road. In Kentucky, it is against the law to remarry the same man four times. According to Florida law, anyone who takes a bath must have clothes on. In North Dakota, no one can be arrested on the 4th of July. Uh, this holiday is commonly known as the Five Finger Discount Day. Pickles are outlawed in Los Angeles because of the smell might offend people. It is against Michigan state law to tie a crocodile to fire hydrant. First, cousins may marry in Utah, but only after they're 65 years old. That's all for your random laws this week. Central Valley, have a fabulous day. Wake up, Central Valley. It's Thursday, and we're here to puzzle your minds on this lovely morning. It's Alex and Jade with your riddle of the week. Are you ready to have your minds astounded? All righty, here we go. Can you name three consecutive days without using the words Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Oh my goodness, Alex, is that even possible? Yes, indeed, EJ, it is. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Come on, Jade, I thought you'd get this one. Uh, maybe next time, Big Al. Until next Thursday, CV, have a great day. All right, CBTV, my name is Matthew Goff, here with... Ricky Forster. Oh, um, Michelle. And we're here to talk about CBTV. Now, Ricky, have you, have you seen CBTV? No, I haven't. Do you watch such a television? Um, is that the sort of play in the morning? Yes. No. So, Jada, have you ever seen CBTV? Yes. Okay. Do you have any problems with CBTV last year? Um, it's kept so long. Do you have any problems with CVTV before um before this year? Do you have an idea for a segment you'd like to see in a new show for the school? Um do you guys see sports? Uh, 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 to add something to CVTV. 
like an idea or? Uh, Friday night. Friday night. What would that be? What would they be doing? And uh, if we start an email service where we email students and we give out an email, would you send in second ideas or yes, talk to CVP? Yeah, well. And if we we made an email service where students could write in to CVP, would you answer? Would you respond to them? I don't think I can give them all up. If we had an email service where you could send in second ideas or talk to the people in CVP, would you would you send emails? Yeah. Yep. All right, guys, that's it for me. We'll see you next time.